do it. I'm sorry? I'll do it. I lost. Yeah, same. I mean, I get anxious. Pre I, I don't suffer from anxiety, but I always worry that I'm like that I'm like not able to not able to like live up to expectations. I mean, I'm always anxious. I have medicine to help it, but it doesn't help. Uh, not always. Fair. So, Jackie boy, uh, Jack guy has done a. Try not to get anxious challenge. Uh, this one is number five. Good lord. Uh, huh. We, I know there's a few of these that we haven't done, but I think we've done one or two of these. Um, if y'all want us to go back and watch those, if we, if, you know, if you want it, you know, feel free to comment down below, or if you really want us to do it, head over to our Discord and request it on the request channel. And, uh, yeah, we'll be able to see what we can do. But... Oh, I think your kitty just uh, jumped down off the bed. Cause I heard uh, paws. I heard him like his paws hit the ground. mine or one of Kathan's? Well, it was right here, so the sound was right here, so I would assume it's yours. Cause yeah, your your be bedroom's kitty. right here, and Kate and Kathan's is like right right over there. Uh, oh, y'all saw my belly. That ain't good. <laughs> so all right, uh, try not to get anxious. Challenge number five. Uh, by Jack Septicai. Let's uh, let's see what kind of anxiety Jackie Boy puts us through. Here we go. Guys, I felt too normal for too long. I haven't felt anxious in a while. I haven't looked at somebody stare over the edge of a cliff and go, what's down there and almost die? So we're back on the Sweaty Pam subreddit to see what people are going to sweaty do. Pams. Gotta hand it to this guy. Is that a dart in his hand? Oh, not another one of these. Boy! No! Stop! I literally drooled! <laughs> What's a better combination, alcohol and frat bros? I got yeah, luckier than Dennis in that one episode of Always Sunny. That's yeah. sick! <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So they were trying not to flinch, and he was holding his hand on the dartboard. I think these are too young to be frat boys. I think these are just boys in high school. Maybe, I don't know. But once oh, Frank sticks one right in the middle of his hand, he still sick. doesn't flinch. <laughs> yeah. He plays the zen sound, and he just looks over at it and pulls it out. <laughs> oh! I don't like it's these. Free climbing a skyscraper. Wow. Why is he drinking piss? <laughs> it's like the Fremen in Dune. They just reclaim the body's natural fluids. That watch is Dune. insane. Watch, I watched Dune with uh, Jacob and, <laughs> and Lee. That was Keith. That was a. That was a good one. Oh my God! I I've seen videos strange. of people do it from the outside, like somebody on the ground filming them. But until you actually see them do it, it's like playing the Spider-Man game. Look at these ray trace reflections. Wow. Wow. Nothing that a swig of your own piss can't solve, though. <laughs> what is this? No, is that a cliff hammock? <laughs> It is. Oh, I'm guys. Yeah, I've seen those before. Guys, I have too. can we have a conversation, no. please? What? Well, I mean, honestly, if it makes it safer for them to take a nap or sleep and not fall to, and not like be at risk of like falling to their deaths while climbing. True. I mean, I feel like I would still be at risk because I toss and turn so much when I sleep. Well, that's the beauty of that thing is that it basically like wraps around the bottom. And covers you and like fully engulfs you like a friggin' sleeping bag. As long as I don't toss and turn so much, I pull the anchors out while I'm asleep. You know? Well, I was going to say that's why. Yeah, I just that's basically uh, want to do as as like I'd say like three anchors because one just anchor, a falling burrito. At that one point. <laughs> one anchor can support up to I believe two hundred pounds, and basically multiply that or basically like multiply that by uh, like fifty percent or. And uh, add to it, and basically that you basically it can support up to about three fifty to four hundred pounds if you have three anchors in. Maybe I think more. the scariest part to me would be getting in and out of it. <clears throat> I think if you if you get used to it, uh, if you do like a few tests with it, and it's just like ah okay, so here we go. 
Uh, yeah. Testing yeah. at the bottom. Drives people to go out there. and sleep on the sides of cliffs. Where are you, goats? <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> Do you know what they say? There's a fine line between bravery and stupidity. It's not fine at all. There's a very clear delineation between the two. How could you sleep there? I would sleep there all night thinking that every single thing is going to kill me. That's not normal. Stop it. A rusty <laughs> crane. You I always wonder what it would be like to be in a crane. Because as someone who's terrified of heights and seeing how high up they are, I wouldn't want this. Also, why is there a rusty crane? Where is this? Oh, oh. oh hell no! Oh. Why? It looks like oh, an old like Soviet stop. block. Osho wants stop to know it. your you location. Must stop this. You are one step away. That's like a Soviet block, <clears throat> like country where construction has just ceased. Probably. And they left all the machinery behind. It's probably an urban explorer, not even a construction worker that's for filming that. seconds, yeah. and then it's over. <laughs> Why is there something like this just lying around somewhere? I don't trust it. Obviously, I don't trust anything that's rusty. You might just even Me get either. tetanus from it. Oh yep. no, are you going to get chased by like a lion or something? What? Whoa! I mean, that oh, a dust Whoa! storm. Whoa! I don't know if that's better or worse. It can be worse. Jeez. Oh, I don't even get to see the end of it. Dang it. You need to stop filming. You just need to start pedaling. Pretend you're on the peloton and the lady's going, Just five more minutes! How dangerous is that, honestly? <laughs> like, if you're yeah, pedaling through that, is pair. that a case of, like, he's not taking that nearly as seriously as he should be? Or is it a case of, like, it's just dust, you'll be fine? I don't know. They're pretty scary. Oh, to ocean. I want to see something massive rise up from the abyss and no. realize that we're not top of the food chain after all. No. Oh, for reverse. Ah! Why? Get on the boat! Ryder! Why? Oh, I touched it! <laughs> <laughs> what was it? A shark! It's a oh, fucking shark! Oh, That's not a, a shark! Bad, Hell boy. no! No! The big bastard he shark, into too. That water with a great white floating around? <laughs> that's, I'm sorry, that's a gamble. That could be a basking shark, and I'll get like five minutes of awesome time in the water oh, with that oh, cool oh. video. Or it's a great white shark and I'm dead. Those are very different odds. Stop it, Jack. Dude, that's a... Jack said it. That's not a... <laughs> he was about to say, dude, that's a great... idea. It was a great white shark. It'll scare him. What's a basking shark look like? Oh, these guys. Yeah, oh, they're cute. They're, they're not Actually, nearly as scary. That's terrifying. He will nah. swallow you whole. And not he doesn't have teeth. No, they don't have teeth. Yeah, he is like a Kirby shark. <laughs> but also uh, the Greenland shark. I'd love to see one of those be like, whoa, dude. Yeah, the Greenland sharks live for... There's one that's alive right now that's been alive for about, like, 300 to 400 years. They aren't exact. They aren't exactly sure on the carbon dating, but it's been alive for a long, long time. Thing to think about. And they're massive. They're 26 feet. He could eat you and me and the guy on the boat all at once. No. 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 Oh. Uh, uh, How does he uh, stop? How does he stop? Death? Oh, God. That's the last thing I want. I'm out on the hotel bar at the top. And then some dude's just like, just had a stroll on the side of the infrastructure. Just trying to see how sound it was. <laughs> Look how high up he is. He falls, he's dead. Okay, what goes through your brain? What's the thought process? Y you know, I've seen some of those climbing videos. I I I've, I've been on certain parts of the internet where some of them do not end well. Oh, yeah, people have died trying that shit. There was one who was, uh, I think, from uh, from Hong Kong. He got the challenge to climb the building, and he stepped it up when he uh, when he got on the side of the building and decided to do pull-ups. And you know what happened? Lost his grip. Well, he no, he didn't lose his grip. Dig this. <clears throat> he was live streaming this, by the way. I didn't watch the live stream. I saw the aftermath of or of like the live stream, and also I saw the end of. Well, not the end, but what happened to him. He climbed up the side of this building, live streamed the whole thing, and the challenge was he was going to do five pull-ups on the side of the building. But the thing was, it was a very windy day, and he tired himself out doing it or climbing the building. And when he got up to the place where he was going to do the pull-ups, you know, the very top of the building, which was like a sheer surface down, he gets up there, and he does one, two... Three, and then he get comes up for the fourth, realizes he's losing strength, and he d tries to get his leg up and over, but he can't. 
And instead, he's literally stuck there, hanging on the side of the building, and no one, and he's screaming for someone to come help him. Screaming. No one ever comes. He loses, like, his fing- one by one, his fingers go, and then he falls. Damn. And this happened on live stream, and people <clears throat> thought it was fake. And then you found out later, no, it was very much real. And, yeah, he was a young guy, too. I think he was, like, 23. And, yeah, he he was a, a great climber. He just did it for the wrong reasons. Anyway, back to this. This is here. Does your brain think, this is not that bad, I'm not scared of heights, let's go. Or does your brain think, we're gonna die, we're gonna die, we're gonna die, we're gonna die, and you just have to hope that you're able to tune that out. A little bit of Because that's the way my brain works. Even if I'm in the building. Descending only by stair frames, what does that mean? <laughs> oh! There's nothing there! I thought that was glass! I was like, that's not that scary. Sure, he's a little high up. Ew! That's, a, that's not uh, quite as no, bad to me I for some the reason. Fact that it's sped up as well. One wrong move, and it's but yeah, over. Yeah, yeah, you no could fucking me. die, but at least there's walls for you to lean on on each side of it. Know what I mean? Well, yeah, but if you fall down, your head's gonna like. Ping, 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 oh yeah, yeah. Ping, You're gonna ping, get ping. fucked if you fall, but just don't fall with that one. Yeah, yeah. that one's like, not obviously bad, don't fall on any of them, but that one is like at least there's a wall for you to lean against to stable yourself, as yes. opposed to like the guy out on the fucking building walking, you know, from peg to peg. Where like if you lose your balance at all, you're probably gonna fucking fall and die. Yeah, you're gonna die. Like your only chance if you fall there is to fall forward and plank over a couple of those beams that he was walking across. You know. Yeah. Whereas there's more there to save yourself with. So I was like, I could probably do that. I wouldn't like it. No. But I feel like if I could. I feel like I could it, make myself do it if someone offered me a sum of money, like or something. How much know? would it take for you to do that? Thousand dollars. A thousand? That's it? Because I wouldn't feel like I'm risking my life nearly as much as like walking on the things <clears> outside flights? the building. Like the How other many flights do you have to go down? Uh, it, five, six, you know, like. Okay. Five, yeah. six flights of state. Tell you what. If we go to that country where that's at or we find something similar, I will do that. I'll pay you a thousand dollars to do it. All right. <laughs> Hopefully there's a way up. So I only have to go down. <laughs> yes. I would, I would hope there <laughs> if is. If there's an way alternate up. way up, that would be better. <laughs> yeah. Making stairs for you. I'm still going to be pretty sketched out because I don't know how stable that shit is either, though, is the only thing. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to be going real slow and testing each one very carefully as I go. Literally in the room. Whoa. White leaf. Holy God. Dude, that's taking everything with it. You're going to ascend. Leave. Yep. It's breaking your house. Get the hell out of there. Get away from the window, bro! Oh. So can you use it You're gonna die. literally until it was in the room? You meant like literally, not the way the internet uses literally. Tornadoes don't happen here. But I would venture to guess that if I saw a tornado out that window and it was starting to like slightly come towards me, I'm gone. All my valuables, all my possessions don't care anymore. And now he's like, maybe I should leave. I don't know if my spoons and pots and pans should be floating around my head. Actually, Never leaving is not the best home. idea, but you need to get fucking get under or something. To either get get as low to the ground as you can, get in a room that has no windows, cover yourself with blankets so that the glass doesn't get you, and pray to God. That's all you can do at that point. <laughs> pray to God or whichever creator you believe in or... Just a, here we have a good best. place if a tornado ever comes because we can get under the stairs here and that yeah, would be the safest get, possible spot. We can get there. Back at or, the mansion, we didn't. Well, we yeah, we kind of had a good place. It would have been like under the stairs there. No, it would have been in the bathroom in the back side, in the bathroom, uh, uh, in the you know the bathroom that was downstairs. Yeah, I guess so. That would be the best. Spot I mean, under the stairs would probably work too, though. I, either one, yeah. I'm just yeah, I'm just thinking like. The deepest part of the house. Yeah. Oh, stop. Damn. That was not that sweaty. That's not that anxious. That looks like a lawsuit waiting to happen. Hello. Like, that's cool and all. But what if somebody stumbles and falls over and then gets, like, sliced in half? Does it have a sensor that stops you from being chopped in half? Probably not. Then wherever this is, it's just say, in trouble. I would say they probably got, like, a button system here to, like, do an emergency stop or something. Yeah. If you fall by yourself, though, nobody's assume. there to stop it, you'd be screwed. True. Whoa, oh, my God. What the hell? Dude, if video games and movies have taught me anything, that's going to explode. It's not red, but it's going to explode. Whoa! 
He's just touching it! Is this normal? How I know your clothes going? are fire resistant, but how do you stop this? Dude, you gotta yeah, spray it where the, the fire battery. is! I'm spraying the bottom of it! I'm actually not even sure what it is. Did he take off his gloves? What does he take off? I could have sworn he took off his gloves and touched it with his bare hands. I thought he was an animal. I would assume the best bet is to just leave it out there and let it run its course. Unless it's gonna explode and put shards of metal in everybody's faces. Firefighters. Massive balls of steel. Oh no! Oh, yeah. oh, oh no! no. Windsurfer. Oh honey, no no no! He's just stuck! Uh, what do you do? Oh no! He's floating away! That does not look like a good time to me. <laughs> Dude! What? Where is he going? Come back! Is he ever gonna come back down? This is the moment where God's like, yep. Okay, he's coming <laughs> back down. Oh my god. Did he mean to do that? Or is he just Maybe. like that badass that he's like, watch how high I can fly? And then he's like, all right, I'll come back then. That's too much for me. Look, I passed the 30 year mark. After that, everything is dangerous. <laughs> Whoa! Cool! Ha! <laughs> Got he! <it>. Wow! <laughs> I mean, there's a giant Bastard. net under it. That's not scary. Why are you guys posting this? Sweaty if there wasn't a big saving net right underneath. Exactly. Come on, can't pull the wool over my eyes. I'm way too smart for this. Wait. Net right underneath. Exactly. Come on. I can't pull the wool over my eyes. I'm wait. I can't pull the wool over my. That was easy to understand. <laughs> Come on, editor. Way too smart for this. Every time I see people on top of buildings, I get very worried. Oh God. Oh God. Faked it. Yeah. Don't do that. Don't look at the camera all smug. It's a parkour guy. Stop. Why? Stop looking at me! Stop waving! I'm not your friend! <laughs> You're not right in the head. I was gonna say Ezio Auditore, colorized. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're not. Don't do it again! No, no! Uh oh. I can't, I can't. Oh, and push ups. Oh, you're so cool. There's two minutes of this! Woo! <laughs> this is not why buildings were made. I mean, it's sick. What you're able to do is actually very talented, but I don't appreciate it. Same. It's like real life Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Hey! hey! Inside right now, they're all just like sitting down and enjoying this the. This is even scarier here, like, than some no, 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 of the Assassin's no, no, Creed no, jumps no, I've done. Though, I mean, like. Well, it's because Assassin's Creed's a video game. Yeah. This is... It was like there's surfaces that I just don't really try to run across on Assassin's Creed, like jump into like slanted roofs and stuff, you know? Like no. It's like, you you know, you jump to the edge of it and Assassin's Creed and he's going to stick to it, but in real life, you just go fucking sliding off that shit. Yeah. It's like, I don't actually know how he's not going sliding off that shit. <laughs> Maybe he has a specific type of shoes, I don't know. Sorry, it's just Pierre on the roof again, pretending to fall over and doing push-ups. I very much hate these people. I don't hate very often, but I definitely hate it. I'm it actually you, it looks just, very Mirror's boom, Edge boom, like boom, that, boom. though, with this yeah, camera. Yeah, with the first person view, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, but this is bad news written all over it. Whoa! Yeah, fuck that. Oh! Wait, what if you go over Fuck that edge? entirely. Am I the only one who... Ugh. Sorry. Breathe, Jackie boy. Am I the only one who thinks about the repercussions of things? I like climb something no. slightly no, high. I, like I'll be on my stairs and I don't know if I can jump and grab the stairs. I know like, I was. No, I shouldn't do that because what if I slip? And these guys are like. I know ah, it was all big balls sky. about nope. the you know the stair frame dissension, but like fuck all that trampoline and the fucking crane thing. Then hell no, no you couldn't yeah, you couldn't pay noise. me for that one. Fuck that noise. Problem. Oh my god! A lot of don't get me wrong. That looks super fun. Apart from the fact that nothing but death is below you. Oh yeah, it'd be if fun like if you were three feet off the ground it, instead of three hundred. No Actually, no, I wouldn't, because even just standing on it would make my knees literally shake. Being stuck inside for so long has made it worse. All I know is my own floors. <laughs> anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. I I'm literally getting a headache right now. I deserve a like on this video for what I've just been through. It's free. You can always unsubscribe anytime you want to. If you're already subscribed. Thank you. I love you. You're welcome, Everyone, Jack. Everyone, deep breath. We made it through. All right. I feel you, Jack. I feel you on that. Anxious as well. Anxiety. Ain't it fun? Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah. 
This was a. Uh, this was definitely. I, I would say pretty an- maybe pretty pretty anxious. Especially the. No, sir. I don't like it. <laughs> I know the one that got you was the uh, the shark. Yeah, fuck the sharks. Entirely. If you ever want to scare the shit out of me, oh, it's sharks. Oh, fuck the sharks. Don't fuck the sharks, Nick. That's just gross. No, don't literally fuck the sharks. Just <laughs> have nothing to do with the sharks. Fair. Yeah, there you go. So, all right. This was a, this was a, this was a good one, though. I, I'll give it that. Go, uh, good on you, Jack. Uh, hopefully, uh, you, uh, yeah. Hopefully, you, uh, your anxiety goes down the less that you're away from these, or the more that you're away from these, rather, uh, or the less you see of these is what I meant to say. So, uh, yeah. Thank you all very much for tuning in. I I don't have any more words to say except for. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs>